Okay, so what's this? That's Hugo. That's the first semi-automatic double barrel paintball gun ever built. And that was uh, the predecessor to most of the hurricanes and, and later the typhoons. It was Glenn's second semi-automatic that used the air, air both on both ways. sides yeah. Uh, ram. Yeah, um, or at least the second one he started. I don't mm -hmm. know when he built those first two hurricanes that were done very similar in layout to this, uh -huh. but they may have been done before this was finished. Uh huh. And you said the you commissioned this in November of 1989. Yep. And it was uh, it was completed in in February or March of 89 or 90. <laughs> February or March of 90. February or March of 90. Okay. And, uh, awesome. And you also said that you were playing at an indoor field when Jamal, or was it Jamel, saw it? And that was likely his inspiration to, uh, maybe start talking with Bud. Yeah, that was, that was his inspiration to start working on, on the, doing pneumatic automation on a cocker. Uh-huh, uh, very cool. Uh, and originally when this was built, it wasn't nickel plated, but you you later nickel plated it while you were working there? Yeah, after I after I started working for, for Glenn and stuff, when they started nickel plating guns, I stripped that all apart and sent it in and had it nickeled and then reassembled it. Huh. And the switch configuration on this one is unique. There's no other Palmer built guns that use this. Yeah, there's, that's the only one that was done with that switch configuration that I know of. Hmm. Where there was a piece actually fastened onto the trigger shoe and then it runs through the slot in the frame to actuate it. Mm -hmm. And you said originally it was stainless wire? Yeah, he originally had a piece of stainless wire actuating it, and then when we when we redid it, we did it with a piece of brass. Very cool. Huh. Was Glenn building other... He was building his pump double barrels. He was building his pump double barrels. Basically, I went to him, I knew he was playing with uh, his gun Camille, which was uh, his semi. And I said, you know, I know you're building a semi. I know you're building a double. Can you marry the two, and what will it take? And uh, so basically, he said, "I'll let you know when we're when I get done." And uh, there was a donor gun involved, and the only part that came off the donor gun is the grip frame, which was the donor gun was like a first gen PGP okay. pre pump. But the the lower tube is from a Sheridan uh, pump. Uh, right, pump full. up pellet rifle. Uh -huh. That's a 22 caliber pump pellet rifle, actually. Huh. It's got that long valve body in it. One of the cool things is the hard line that's running from the valve body to the input side of the LPR. And that was something that was originally on it just like that, right? Yep. Huh soldered in place into that valve body. Hmm. So was this, what, did you use this quite a bit over the years? I used it, uh, I used it several times. I didn't use it a whole lot. Um, we were kind of limited on the velocity adjustment on it. It's uh -huh. kind of a pain to deal with. You did add an RBA. Yeah. So, um, but uh, other than that, it was just overkill. Uh-huh. Uh, you go through a lot of paint, a lot of a lot of uh, CO2 really fast. You said that at one time you hooked it up with four 100 round loaders? Yeah, I had four 100 round loaders sitting on top of it looking like deer antlers. Uh. It was just kind of ridiculous. Um, at the big game, I actually had uh, multiple loaders in straps inside my jacket. And I'd go along and I'd take one loader off and I'd shoot with only one loader on it until that loader got low and then I'd throw the other loader up on it 
and start shooting with the other other one until they got low and then pull the spare one out of my jacket and, and uh -huh. pop it on there so I could just shoot continuously for like 1600 rounds. Uh -huh. And how many paint guns did Glenn build with this style uh, caulking mechanism? That's the only one that has that caulking mechanism. And then the uh, the two other uh, the two first hurricanes have the similar uh, cylinder positioning, uh -huh. or did originally, and the rod ran back, but they actually had a caulking lug on them. Oh, because these bolts have no caulking lug because it's just uh, caulked on the side, and this hammer is a custom cut yeah. piece of stainless.